and 10. So the Tory government are not reversing austerity and not planning to do so. The man there in the glasses. So Labour has been talking about the Grey Book a lot and you're saying you've costed everything. However, you keep making offers to all kinds of uh, uh, people uh, in a way uh, to get votes. And say, for example, the WASP women, uh, not good, uh, to, good for them that they've been fighting for it, but uh, Labour cannot uh, fund it properly. And how would you define that? Well, it's, it's a moral obligation. These women were lost out. It's their entitlement. And, and we've but got to take special measures about that. How would you fund that. it? But it's a, it's a one-off. You either take that, you either get it from reserves, and if reserves aren't sufficient, pounds and over five years. And it, but it's an obligation. It's a moral obligation. Those <laughs> women paid into the system, and they were cheated. The deal was changed on them, and they were looking forward to retirement. Their plans have been turned upside down. It's a moral duty of this country to put that wrong right, and it cannot continue. <laughs> Disagree. I couldn't disagree more. Um, government policy changes all the time. Uh, it, it creates losers and winners. Ideally, that's calculated. This was calculated. We have been retiring too early. Uh, the the uh, difference between um, men and women's retirement ages never made the slightest bit of sense. I thought it was a little condescending toward women that we can't work as long. None of us can retire that early. And furthermore, um, when government policy changes and then, uh, and it's to, meant to save the state money, which is all of our money, uh, the, it doesn't make any sense to then claw it back and compensate the people who lost out. I'm sorry, but this, this seems to be all based on the fact that there, that there were expectations of retiring at a certain point. Well, what about the expectations about, of the cohort be behind them? Wouldn't they feel cheated? Don't they need to be compensated? All of us have to make some sacrifices w when... But it's the, the very when women who've suffered inequality mm -hmm. for all of their lives and they've been planning for a retirement date and that, the rug is pulled out from underneath them as they approach their retirement. That has ruined lives. That has really turned people upside down. And it's an, an outrage that it ever happened. I mean, not, not all of right. them. It's obviously Theresa Mays. She comes in that cohort. I don't think she's... Doing too badly. Well, no, and she'll be ch and she'll be taxed on it at a marginal but rate. But she's going like to get what thirty thousand pounds or something. But I'm more concerned about the woman who's on been lo on low earnings, who's been uh, so, uh, as uh, having all. But then sorts why of not g just give the money to her, not to someone like Theresa? Because Mary. we believe in universality. It's a deal. You don't. You pay in. You get out. If you if you have made your contributions in full expectation that you're getting okay. that deal when you retire, the government should honour that and not betray them and renege okay. on it. Let's come back to the original question, which was from you, Daisy. The Institute of Fiscal Studies says both main party spending plans are not credible. When will politicians start being honest with the public? So, Brandy, you've been sitting here very quiet.